I swear to God, <laughs> this might be the noblest of professions. Robin Williams had a bar that I loved. He said, comedy is the only job you can have where you can use everything you know. And that's true. You can use more than you know. You can use what you think. Use it. Don't be afraid. Don't let these bitch ass niggas button your lip. <laughs> Say it anyway. How and arrogant are you to think that you deserve to go through life with no one ever saying anything that you don't agree with or like? You don't, ha you don't have to pave the jungle. Yeah. You can just grow a pair and have a laugh about it. I mean, well, you're yeah, offending I, I ideas, comedy but comes not first. And I, and I understand, uh, well, that's the other thing. Yeah. People try and give ideas rights. Yeah, exactly. So, so you're not allowed to offend their, you know, they jump in the way of the bullet and say, why are you shooting at me? Yeah. Right? If someone <laughs> insults maths, I don't go, oh, dang, it's on maths. Yeah. <laughs> Insult it all you like. Yeah. It works. Yeah, exactly. Okay? If you're so fragile that, that you think that a joke about someone can destroy it, well, you, you, you need something else then. When you're a comedian, when the audience doesn't laugh, that we get the message. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> like, we, you don't really have to cancel us because we get the message. <laughs> right. <laughs> They're not laughing. Our feelings hurt. <laughs> right. When we do something and people aren't laughing, we like, we get it. I don't understand why people feel the need to go beyond that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's honestly, to me, it's, it's a disrespect. It's people disrespecting the audience. Right. Like, oh, you think you know more than the audience. The audience knows more than everybody. Right. Okay. Um, you know, but I, I, Hey, some things don't need to be said. Some people need to be looked out for. I definitely understand that. But um, not letting comedians work is, you know, what happens is everybody gets safe. Right. And when everybody gets safe and nobody tries anything, things get boring. Right. Absolutely. So I see a lot of unfunny comedians. I see unfunny TV shows. I see unfunny award shows. I see unfunny movies. <laughs> Because no one's, everybody's scared to like, you know, make a move, you know, and that's not a place to be, you know, we should have the right to fail. Right. To Because fa failure, failure is a part of art, you know what I mean? And right. it's like, it's the ultimate cancel, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, you know, mm -hmm. but now, you know, you got a place where people are scared to talk. That's not, you know, especially in America, you're scared to talk. Ah. But, you know, that's what people want. You know, got to make adjustments. Right. You know, <laughs> it's a weird time. Jim, how are you handling this comedy climate? Are you sick of that fucking question yet? Yeah, we were literally I, talking we about that with about Mark it. before you came yeah, in. Mark's in a panic. Mark's having, Mark's having a tough time. I'm nervous. Nah, don't be. D drive the bus right through it. That's the plan. It does, I guess. It does, it, that's it, what it I've really been doing, does. but it's, you know, you never know. I don't know. Yeah, well, when, when, when you take due process and burden of proof and you throw that out the fucking window... Right? And you give it to a bunch of fucking lunatics who think that they're so goddamn right. I mean, they're, they're insane. They're fucking insane. There's so many people on Twitter that I follow, like, ironically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and when there's, like, a big story, I just want to hear what the fuck they're saying. Yeah. How do you spin this? What's, My what's favorite be one on, on the Kavanaugh one was somebody tweeted, I lost male friends this week. And, and then people were, like, consoling this person, like, something happened to her. It's just like, this, this right. isn't about you. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> this, 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 this is this poor woman's story. Right. And you're hijacking it. And people are consoling you because you're watching something. You're, yeah. you're at home. You gave yourself fucking jury duty. And you're going to sit here and watch this thing that you don't have a fucking vote on and get yourself all worked up. It's, it's some of the best entertainment. They love it. They love Twitter. getting angry. And you know what I never got is the uh, the Norm hate, and they go, well, he was never funny. Like, what are you kidding? No, I never no. liked Norm. Like, what? He's maybe one of the best of all time. Norm, yeah. Norm had to go to an apology tour for having an opinion. Yeah. yeah. Yes! He didn't, even, he didn't even, he didn't do anything. He just didn't have the opinion that they wanted. And he, he had to basically, yeah, yeah, he has to apologize to 15% of the fucking population. And the right. Tonight Show canceled them, and they said, out of respect for our viewers, like, what? I know, people were crying it's in insane. the office. Who was like, crying what? at the yeah. Tonight Show? <laughs> it, no. it, yeah, it makes no sense. And it's all because he did it at the, in the first interview. Sam, Obviously, he Sam, was on stop, a press tour. Stop pointing. That's triggering me. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay? I want an apology from you. As a comedian today, what what do you find funny? Because I think like comedy changes a lot. It does. Uh, and... And now, these days, I think maybe we're not allowed to be joking about everything anymore. Yeah, or? it's, uh, I don't know. The climate is, is uh, iffy, if you will. 
But, you know, as far as me personally, I think the sake of the joke was everything to me. And now that we have kind of have this perspective of people's feelings are get hurt. And I, listen, I will defend humor until the end because it's a very important way to communicate. And just because someone's saying something that's offensive doesn't mean they're being offensive. They're trying to communicate something. So I wish, I don't know, we're in we're weird times, but I was saying the sake of the joke was everything for me, and I've personally had to reevaluate that now. I don't know if the joke is as important as this thing we're all trying to figure out, which is how can we have fun with each other? It's, I don't know, we're in a tough, this is a tough spot. I, I, obviously, I don't, have an, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. It's a, we're, it's a weird time. But I think if things are funny enough, it trumps PCness. It can. Yeah, it is difficult. It's a nonsense that to believe that some people deserve never to be offended their whole life. You know, um, it's great. And even in universities, there's people that, 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 I mean, we're better to hear different ideas and argue. The great thing about freedom of speech, if an arsehole is being an arsehole, you've got the right to call him an arsehole. It, it's great. It's, and it goes on. It's a good system. Um, <laughs> it, it really is a good system. And I, I think the you, sh you don't close down free speech because it's offensive. You argue with it. You have more free speech, and you expose the people. And and uh, you know. I, and I think that's the only way to do it. You shouldn't. You you, you shouldn't pave the jungle. You should make people um, uh, bulletproof towards it, and you know, give them uh, the, the It's it's about it's about education and confidence, and um, it, it's just crazy. And there are there are loads of caveats to free speech that we all agree with. We, you know, you shouldn't incite violence. I'm, I'm, there shouldn't be, uh, people shouldn't libel you, shouldn't slander you. you know, food additives, you know, watershed. These are all good. But what isn't good is um, you shouldn't say anything that someone will be upset about. That's too vague. It's too vague. And then you get tit for tat. You know, people say, well, if I can't do that, then you can't do this. Um, and it, it, it just, it goes back and forth. And it's all about people wanting to be heard. These days with your comedy, do you feel like you're walking on eggshells at all? Do you, do you feel more like nervous about stuff you tweet and stuff you say just because of the climate we're in and everything that's happened? Uh, yeah, like we're gonna go do stand-up right now. It's mostly trying out new stuff. You don't have the freedom to, to just talk and free associate and then you know carve it back from there. Because usually the process would be you go way over the line, yeah, and then you bring it. You know, and then people go, "We hate you," and then <laughs> yeah. you take away all the parts where they hate you, and then you're left with the stuff that's that's not, you know, that's on the line but not over it. Is your starting point a little bit more sort of tamer these days? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very calculated and thought out. And Does that hurt your act though? Does oh that... yeah, it's way less funny. Is that right? Other than it being not as funny, it's wonderful. <laughs> it so, doesn't hurt anyone's feelings anymore, you, you, but virtually no one laughs, so it's a trade-off. But so that's really hurt your career in terms of the fact that you're you're an eggshell comedian, and I, I don't think like I'm an egg. Is that a new term? I, I just made it up just now. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't comedy be some sort of sacred place where you're allowed to say whatever's kind of on your mind, and like if it's funny, then yeah. it's okay. It used to be, you know, like. Like Jerry Seinfeld always says, the audience will let you know. Yeah. You know when it's when it's gone too far, because they they're across, you know, representation of the population. Yeah. But uh, but now uh, it's not enough to get, you know, 99 percent. You have to get 100 percent. You know, most of the audience wants to be funny. Doesn't care about anything but that. They just want to escape. Yeah. But a tiny uh, a group of people. Uh, ruin it for everyone.